स्टोरीज फॉर यू फर्स्ट लिवर्स टिगराइज चर्च इज कटिंग ऑफ इट्स टाइज विद इथियोपियन ऑर्थोडॉक्स चर्च अ लेटर हैज़ बिन रिटर्न बाय इंटरनेशनल ऑर्थोडॉक्स टिवाहडे एसोसिएशन ऑफ टिगराए क्लर्जी टू द सेक्रटेरिएट ऑफ इथियोपियन ऑर्थोडॉक्स चर्च Why is Tigray's church uh, splitting from Ethiopian Orthodox Church? Secondly, viewers, uh, uh, we have a new story from Western Oromia, where Oromia regional forces have launched a major operation against Oromo Liberation Army. OLA spokesperson Oda Turbi has also confirmed that uh, a massive operation has been launched in West Velega and the operation is being launched from Benishangal Goma side and thirdly words uh, almost 3 uh, days ago we saw a statement from Ethiopian PM office confirming PM Abi's uh, joining his forces in the battlefield so far we have not heard anything from Ethiopian PM Abi from the battlefield where is he are his forcing making any gains this time the speed of the gains of his forces seems to be slow we'll have a look at at, at uh, this uh, new story firstly viewers uh, tigray church seems to be splitting from ethiopian orthodox church a letter has been written by international orthodox uh, tivahede association of tigray clergy the latter is addressing uh, secretariat of the holy synod of ethiopian orthodox tivahede church and tigray church is cutting off its ties with ethiopian orthodox church ethiopian orthodox church is led by abune matayas who uh, a few months ago issued a video message he had criticized ethiopian government he had said that tigrayans were being targeted i think he had used the word genocide as well genocide of tigrayans was being committed Th- those were the words of abu ne matayas uh, head of ethiopian orthodox church but tigray clergy is splitting it said that it does not want to be part of ethiopian orthodox church the church uh, uh, did not do enough to stop uh, atrocities against tigrayans now if if tigray church splits from ethiopian orthodox church uh, which synod will it align with that that remains to be seen this body international orthodox uh, tivahede association of tigray clergy uh, is it based in tigray or is it some body of diaspora uh, tigray clergy i'm not clear about it uh, if viewers can enlighten me about that but most of the people i talk to they're saying that this is uh, an announcement of disassociation of tigray clergy that tigray church does not want to be part of ethiopian orthodox church secondly viewers uh, a massive uh, government military operation is underway against oromo liberation army in western oromia oda turbi ola spokesperson has also confirmed that Uh, government forces have launched a military operation in West Velega. Oil says that government forces tried to retake Bagi town in West Velega, but the offensive has failed, and Oil is still in control of Bagi town in West Velega. What we are hearing, viewers, is that. Uh, 
government forces are trying to dislodge Roma Liberation Army, Gambara Liberation Front and Gomez fighters from border areas. In some previous videos, I told you that in border areas uh, where Gambala, Oromia, Biji, Benishangal, Gomez borders meet, three uh, armed groups are working in collaboration, Roma Liberation Army, Gambara Liberation Front and Gomez fighters. And now Ethiopian government forces and Romi regional forces, they have launched this operation in these border areas to break this alliance of uh, the three armed groups uh, in border areas uh, on Sudan, Ethiopia and South Sudan, Ethiopia border areas. Well, it says so far it has repelled the attack on Begi Town, but we could see more operations in this area, border area, Oromia, Biji, Oromia, Gambala border areas. Lastly, it was three days ago, almost three days ago, Ethiopian PM office issued a statement saying that Ethiopian PM Abiy Ahmed had joined his forces in the battlefield. Three days have passed. So far, we have not heard anything from Ethiopian PM Abiy Ahmed. Where is he? What are his forces doing? Are his forces making any gains? This time, it seems the speed of the advance of his forces is very slow. Last time when he joined his forces in a far, we saw rapid gains by Ethiopian National Defense Force and regional forces. And immediately after he joined his forces in a far, uh, far uh, forces and ENDF took back Kasa Gita, Shefra, Aliveha. Then he appeared on Gashina front, Gashina fell. Then he was seen in Dasi. But this time, three days have passed. So far, we have not seen any major gains by Ethiopian National Defense Force. Regional Force. Instead, uh, they have lost some places. Uh, Lali Bala has been lost by Ethiopian National Defense Force uh, and Gashina too, though they are claiming they are in control of Gashina, but they have not shared anything from Gashina so far, any videos, any pictures that uh, they are in control of Gashina. And no, uh, uh, so far, uh, progress towards taking control of Vuldia too. Vuldia was under pressure three days ago when Ethiopian PM joined his forces. But we have not seen any considerable uh, progress uh, towards uh, Vuldia coming under ENDF control. Maybe tomorrow we might see an announcement from Ethiopian government uh, forces. So far it seems this time the speed of uh, his forces, their advance, the speed of their advance is uh, slow. Instead, Tigray forces are taking back some territories. Tomorrow we'll try to update you about on the ground situation. I think for watching.